Okay, everyone, so we built our three-phase power circuit. Now we want to do the control circuit. So I've taken all the components that we're going to need to do this three-wire start-stop, and uh, I've laid them out here on the side, and we're going to hook them up now and draw the control circuit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this control transformer, and I'm going to tap it into the uh, three-phase high voltage that's coming in and step it down to a lower control voltage. All right, so I take this control transformer, and I, I'm going to tap it into line one, and line three, and that's gonna give me X1 and X2, my hot and my neutral coming off. And the first thing that I'm gonna do coming off that transformer is I'm gonna put in a fuse to protect the control side of the circuit. And when I come out of that fuse, this is my X1 or my hot wire. And I'm gonna take the hot wire down, and one of the first things that I can do is I'm going to take it to an E-stop. And coming off that E-stop, I'll run it to my normally closed stop button, That'll go to my normally open start button, which will go out to the coil that has the overloads and then back to neutral. Okay, with that little circuit right there, if I turn that on right now and apply three phase power, I would be able to, as long as I held the button, energize that coil and make that motor run. Okay? So, we said that we wanted indicator lights to go with it. So I have a red indicator light for when the motor is stopped and a green indicator light for when the motor is running. What I'm gonna do there, in front of the red light, I'm gonna put a normally closed contact that is controlled by that coil in front of the red light. So if that coil is not running, that contact is closed. It will be passing power to this red light and it will be on until we energize that coil. Now I'll take that back to neutral. Then I'm going to come down in front of my green light and I'm going to put a normally open contact that is on that, that motor coil in front of the green light. And what that's going to do is when that coil is energized, it's going to close that contact and turn on this green light. I take the green light back to neutral. If I turn this on and I turn on the three phase power and the disconnect and I come down and I mash the start button, as long as I hold this button, that coil is energized. When that coil is energized, it, it opens the contact in front of the red light, makes it go off, closes the contact in front of the green light, makes it go on, but it also closes those three contacts at the top and passes the three phase power to the motor and as long as I hold this button, that motor will spin. And if I let go of it, it will come off. Okay, so let's add something to that. Let's make this where we can, we can let go of the button and the motor will continue to run. So one thing we've not done in the circuits yet, we've not put in a, a memory contact or a seal in contact as some people would call it. And all that is, is it is a normally open contact that is on that motor coil that is in parallel with this start button. And what's going to happen now is when I turn on the power and I apply three phase power, if I come down here and I mash start momentarily and let go, now the motor runs on its own. And the way that it's doing it is, is when I, when I momentarily make contact with that start and energize that coil, it closes all the contacts that's associated with it. So that means it's going to close this one that's in parallel, and now you see the red is where it's receiving this power. It is still getting power through the e-stop, through the normally closed stop, through the contact on it that's closed, or the one that is sealed in or holding it, running power, and power is to the coil. It is energized. All of its contacts are changed. And if I go back and hit stop, then I break power to that coil, and all those contacts go back to their normal position. This is a safety circuit because if power goes off in any way, if I hit the stop button, I have to go back and hit the button and start it again. If I hit the E stop, I have to go back and hit it again. If I turn off the disconnect, I have to go back and hit it again. Or even if I turn off the entire power, I would have to go back, turn on power, and start it again. All right, three wire start stop with a seal in contact to keep it running, indicator lights to let us know the condition of the motor. We have uh, talked about the symbols, we talked about the, the, the drawings and how they all go together. We can use this right here to wire it. That'll be the next thing we do. Let's go do that right now.